Today I'm going to show you how to make a St. Patty's Day garland made out of felt and buttons. Okay, so the materials you're going to need for your garland is some white felt, just a small piece, some green felt, and I used uh, two pieces of the square felt that you get at the fabric store. You're going to need some twine, and if you did my snowman button craft, you can use the white buttons that you bought from that. Um, also a hot glue gun. And if you also made um, my tassel craft and got the big needles, you'll need that as well. So um, the first step in doing the garland is to do your hearts. Now I had two cookie cutters I liked the size of, so I'm using them as my stencil. This heart's about two and a half and this heart's about uh, two inches from top to bottom. So the first thing you wanna do is stencil your hearts on your felt and cut them out, which I already have done. So for each clover, you will need four hearts. And on the whole thing, I did one, two, three, four, five, six. So, um, and that took up, like I said, two sheets of the felt. So the first thing you wanna do is put your good side up. So if you trace these with pen or pencil, put your good side up because that's what you're gonna see. Um, and it's really easy to do. So I use, I'm use i using green thread. You're really not gonna see it, so it doesn't have to match. Um, so I just kind of picked any green that I had. And so about one inch above the point of the heart, you're gonna fold your heart in half. And about one inch above, you're just gonna do one stitch and just go through again and pull it tight. And you're gonna take your second heart, fold it in half, put it up against the first heart so that you know right where you need to go through for the second heart. And again, go through once, pull tight, and go through just the second heart again, pull tight. And you're gonna repeat this for all four of your hearts. So you wanna go through pull, go through again. So it's pretty easy and if you cut all your hearts out ahead of time, you can really kick this out in no time um, and do them all. Now once you get to your last heart, you're just gonna cut a piece off enough that you can tie it into a knot. So just take the end and tie it off. And then you'll just trim that extra string off. Now to the first time I had to organize my heart, so it took me a little bit, but you'll get quick at it. So you just spread your hearts out like so and flip it over and see how mine are a little messy. What you want it to look like is you want it to look like kind of like a pinwheel. So you just rearrange the bottom until you get that pinwheel look. Once you have the pinwheel look, you'll know that they're laying correctly. See how that, so you just, just direct them until you get that on the back. That way you know that they're correct. And then when you flip it over, I just adjust my petals so that one is overlapping the other as you go around like so. And then just push them out like that. And there you have your four leaf clover. So our next step will be to hot glue a button onto the front. And then the other thing I like to do is just glue each of the corners down with the hot glue just so it stays in place for you. So as I said, just make sure your petal, one petal's over the other, that it's sitting nice and flat the way you want it. And then just put a little hot glue 
on the back of your button and glue it right into the center and then flip it over and I just put just a little tab of glue on each of your corners just so that the petals don't move on you. So now you're gonna take your big needle and the reason you need that is because the twine is a little thick. So thread your needle. I keep the twine, I don't cut off my piece yet because I'm gonna, once I put this together, I'm gonna figure out where I'm gonna hang it and then I'll figure out how long I want my twine. And you're basically just going to put through your four leaf clover heart, four leaf clover heart just rotating back and forth. And it's very easy to do, you just um, stick it through and just gently pull and it'll go through. And then you come up the other side of the heart, like so. And then you'll just feed these down. And then you do the same thing with the heart. You just put it through the heart and then put it back through the other side. Just try to keep it even as you can and poke back through. So then just pull these through, decide on your spacing, how far apart you want them. And then we'll cut it, trim it off. Once you figure out where you wanna hang it and you'll have your garland. Okay, so I measured off my twine and I cut it off and then I knotted it at each end. And then I just added a little piece of ribbon into a bow to hide the knot at the end. And there you have a St. Patty's Day garland. So if this is your first time watching, welcome. And please don't forget to subscribe. If you want to receive future notification of posts, hit the bell. And if you like the video, please give us a thumbs up. It lets us know what you like. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.